Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, quickly set up my hydrogen test cell again and see if this Don Smith coil um, would add any benefit to it. So I got it all hooked up here and I kind of just want to show you guys. So the cell is running at about half an amp, 0 0.50 to 0 0.51, which I'll show you in a minute. And that's the hydrogen it's producing at half an amp. It's basically filling up the majority of the container, which is quite a bit. Right, I'll back off a little bit. And you can see that the input, which is on the right, is about half an amp. And the output coming out from the um, Don Smith coil is almost three times that. They're exactly the same meters. I've swapped them out. Uh, the measurement is definitely correct because when I remove the coil it basically just goes back to a little bit less than a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, I've got this coil hooked up on the negative side so that yellow wire is negative going up and going all the way down to the bottom of the cell which is the negative and the top which you can't really see is the positive which comes out and goes down here so as well I only have it hooked up to a P regular PWM and the PWM is just hooked up to the battery charger as a uh, uh, source and uh, that's it so it's going from the battery charger to the PWM and what's being consumed from the PWM is half an amp and then it goes into the cell and then the negative comes out and goes through the um, ferrite rod here, the Don Smith design. As I explained it before, uh, one direction is wound that way and the other, the other side is wound that way and there's two center taps coming out. And that's the result, so that's pretty interesting. Um, seems to be making a ton of hydrogen, that's for sure.